Hello everyone. In today's short span of video, I am going to discuss about a most prevalent doubt carried by the many of the students behind their mind, and that has been online versus offline. And what I feel, this has not only been the doubt carried by the students, even their parents have also been struggling a lot at this moment of mind because they do not have clear cut idea whether the online or the offline mode of education will serve their children best. So before starting today's video, let me introduce myself. I am Sonal Kumar Agrawal. and i had dedicated myself towards teaching since 2009 onwards and what i feel in the starting 10 years there were complete dominance of the offline education i can say till 2017 2018 but since 2018 onwards and in between when the corona grown up the impact of online education had been huge towards the education system so obviously this has been a right time we should have a one to one comparison between the online education and offline education with the help of few critical points so let me straight away hop into the agenda behind today's video and that is been offline versus online their pros and cons so here comes the first slide and that is been conveniency the best part which you get in your online education is been conveniency i had seen many of the times the student belongs from tier 2 tier 3 or from the village part of our country where the good infrastructure good teachers good institutions are not been available so the student has to wait that he will be completing his education and then they will go somewhere else to get the good quality of education so obviously they have been wasting that good amount of time where they could have learned something so in that case i feel that the online education is really doing extremely well because conveniently that online classes can be seen across the india because i feel now everywhere in india we had been enjoying a good amount of speed in internet so obviously the convenience has been the best part specifically for the student who had been uh, belonging from the remote part of the country the second important point has been affordability once you'll see the offline classes and once you'll compare with the online classes definitely the online classes are been comparatively most affordable why i'm saying it's been the most affordable because one teacher teach somewhere from the patna and the students who had been sitting across the country are been taking the classes from one teacher alone so obviously the cost is been going down because one teach one teacher has been serving so to so many students and at the same time the offline setup also requires a good amount of money to maintain it so that part has also been reduced so affordability has been the best part which i feel so the student who are not been that strong economically definitely are been opting towards the online education because the charges of fees are been drastically less and at the same time now the fees has not been the challenge towards their education so obviously the affordability has been the best part of the online education as well so i can say they are been the pros the last one convenience as well as affordability are been the pros of the online education the next is going to be interaction although people think in offline education the classes will be more interactive but usually what happens practically i am saying there would be around 60 to 70 number of students would be sitting and teacher would be keep teaching his own story hardly any student ask any doubt hardly hardly and even the student who have been from the weaker background no they won't ask any doubt at all but nowadays in online education the technology has been grown up and now they can ask the doubt they can post their doubts and even the teacher can take that doubt and they can they can explain the doubt there itself nowadays what happens even the calling function is also been activated that A student can make a call instantly the teacher may reply instantly so obviously what i feel although interaction people say that in online interaction might be lagging but nowadays with the help of growing technology this part has been knocked off the next point is going to be flexibility the flexibility is also been a major point of concern specifically what i say many of many of the youth population they might be working in mncs but is still they wants to prepare something like for upsc psc maybe for uh, masters so they had to manage their work and along with work they had to study so obviously offline is not been meant for them because offline will have a fixed schedule probably that used to be in between 9 to 5 in between 9 to 5 he will be busy in his own work in his professional work so he has to stole the time and the time has to come as per his schedule and in that case there is no other go you had to go through 
the online classes only next the con part of the online classes which i feel is been create a sense of isolation what happens the student is been keep reading just sitting in front of computer mobile or laptop and he has been keep reading and being a social animal until and unless we do not get interaction with other people other person other student how he has been doing what had been his approach to solve a certain numerical from the physics or chemistry or maths even you do not find that where you had been standing in front of 50 to 60 or 70 number of student who had been sitting in your class so that competition or sense of isolation creeps in and that's been i would say the con part of the online education next is going to be a self discipline what i say if if you have been disciplined you are done with that so what i am saying in online classes nobody is going to watch you the teacher has been keep teaching if you have been lacking a few part or if you have been lacking in discipline what happens you will be you will bung one class and over the period of time you'll find that only 50% classes are been attended by you and end of the day the result do not go in your favor because you had not been disciplined but in case of offline class the discipline has been the best part once you come into the class the teacher is the king of your class whatever he teach even he will be monitoring your eyes your gesture your posture <laughs> everything he will be monitoring and somewhere if you uh, if you so your body posture lethargical he may also shout on you virtually speaking the discipline has been the worst part of the online education and once you go in offline part definitely the teacher will force you to be disciplined and definitely with the discipline you learner uh, you uh, learn more and at the same time you do better so this is all about the today's situation and if you want few more number of inline print definitely you can put comment over the comment box bye bye take care